Okay, it's uh, one o'clock. Uh, for the sake of uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of like uh, being on time, we're gonna kind of get started and ask people uh, to come in. We're gonna let them in. So uh, my name is Bardad, and I'm uh, one of the <laughs> program directors with RX Connection. I'm a pharmacist, and uh, we today we're gonna talk about uh, uh, this new potential of semaglutide. I've got with me Michael Scorey. He's uh, uh, the guy that's going to talk about uh, uh, the manufacturing piece, the processing, the where the drugs come from, how they're sold. Uh, he has a wealth of information about uh, uh, these type of programs running uh, some medical companies in the past. So uh, I don't see anybody else coming in. Uh, so we'll, for that reason, we're going to go ahead and get started, Mike. Is that okay? Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, let's get started. And I think I had a couple of people came in and they went out. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, maybe uh, they're gonna maybe the computer cut off. But we're gonna get no started. So I'm gonna, Mike, uh, you can share your screen if you like, and uh, I'm gonna kill my video and my audio. You can go ahead and start talking about uh, summer glutide and what this is all about. And then I'm gonna talk about the marketing piece at the end. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for having me, Mudon. Um, Let's see if we can bring some uh, knowledge to the marketplace. Uh, Shortcat has been around for quite a while now uh, in business in various parts of uh, the medical field. Originally, it was another company that has kind of changed hands and moved into the space. But a total of about, I would say, 22 years has been in the healthcare sector, helping various organizations, working with people like Henry Schein and Patterson, et cetera. Uh, so what we're going to talk about today is the market of semaglutide injectables. Uh, it's a very fast growing market in the USA. Everybody knows about it. Uh, it was kind of at the day when you would look at a TV screen and you found out about this company called Nova Nordics and a Zempec for diabetes. It didn't matter where you looked, this was popping up. Well, uh, there's a product inside of that that actually is available to us. And I'm going to uncover that a little bit in a moment. What is important uh, for the people on the call today is if you're a pharmacist or a doctor's office or a clinic or a hospital, doesn't matter. Uh, when you're going to purchase product, it's good to know the difference between a 503B and a 503A. Uh, the important thing about it is a 503A really is regulated by state board where when it comes to a 503B, it's an FDA more regulated system. Uh, so that is why the law, as I'll show you in a moment, has put forward the fact that semaglutide should ultimately be something you work with a 503B, just given the manufacturing style, the regulations behind it, uh, some of it is robotically driven. So it's the highest possible pharmaceutical grade product you can have. Uh, if you've studied the market, you'll see that there are quite a few little 503As and even some 503Bs, but mostly the 503As that can only do scripting are moving products as well, but once they get looked into a little deeper, it's a salt-based semaglutide, or there's mixtures that are being compounded uh, to make it a sellable product, like putting vitamin B12 and other products in it. Uh, and that is really another issue with the FDA, where they're starting to clamp down on that. So when you look at those two, uh, you end up coming to a thing which is, let's talk about the product. Before we understand the product and the breakdown of it, uh, I want everybody to understand that Nova Nordics and Eli Lilly, they brought two products to the marketplace through their diabetic um, um, a clinical trial drug. One being Manjaro, the other one being Wigovi and Ozempic. But for the most part, these drugs have now run into a shortage. And the law uh, stipulates that if a drug is in shortage, which it is right now, that a compounder may prepare a version of that drug. And on this particular situation, since I think July 2023, both semaglutide and tazepatide has been on the drug shortage list. Let me just stop there for a second because I know there's a question that comes up. Well, what did the FDA do and say about it? Well, they wrote something that's called a draft. But I work with enough law firms to tell you that a draft doesn't mean that's not going to be the law. It basically says that's the anticipated change that's coming. And under a draft, you are able to conduct business. So I uh, just let you know that everything you're going to see here is also been vetted out by people like Hyman Phelps McManera, which is the number one FDA DA law firm in the United States. 
So therefore, based on the law, uh, a 503B compounding facility, outsourcing facility can use raw APR powder from it. For, again, important to know, imported from an FDA VOD recognized wholesaler and it can be compounded. So if it comes through into the country through the right, right channels, it's FDA oversight. When you get to the end, it comes out, uh, you know, when you start right, you finish right. So one of the conditions that must be met, this is the law from the FDA draft, is that to qualify for this exemption to actually compound, it says there that the drug will not be sold or transferred by any other entity other than the outsourcing facility. It's important to know those, those wordings there. It's basically saying a 503B can make the product and it can sell the product. No problem with that at all. However, when you look deeper in the law, you will find that wholesaling of a compounded drug is prohibited, yes, but it is not deemed wholesaling when the outsourcing facility, as we're speaking about a 503B, uh, is and, and is compounding their drug under law, even without obtaining a patient pr a specific prescription, can compound and sell to a hospital, healthcare system, et cetera, et cetera, and in red, or to a pharmacy, federally, federal facility, or licensed physician, which does something. That's th something is very simple. You can buy and you can dispense when you have a prescription. Only process again in the USA. 503B can sell to those with an NPI license, basically, and they can they can get a script and they can then move the product and uh, on a on a prescription basis. You cannot resell the product. 503B compounder that we work with. Interesting, uh, we've, there's only two in the country that we work with that we believe are the highest grade because they're giving you NDC numbers, uh, you know, it's FDA registered facilities. And you can find these companies on the FDA uh, 503B outsourcing facility list uh, on their website. And so the manufacturing of this provides pharmaceutical grade product. Every batch that comes out is quarantined and it's obviously, again, under FDA guidelines. Uh, very important for me to say this, pharmaceutical grade, not the salt form and no acetate. It's a, it's a high level product. And the beyond use date on this product is 180 days in full compliance of CGMP, COA, NDC, all of that is provided. And it's a very open disclosure process and you're able to get in your hands something that you can be proud of, as opposed to a lot of stuff that is running around in different places that is quite uh, quite suspect. And it's manufactured in the USA. And then if you place an order, uh, what I'm finding right now is that 24 hours is pretty much what it's been running at all the time. If an order is placed today, you'll have a tracking number today and the product will be out to you the next day type of thing. So who can buy from a 503B? Uh, looking at the schematic, 503B is a bulk supplier. So it basically makes bulk, buys bulk and produces bulk. And it can then sell to a 503A, a hospital, medispa, doctor's offices, pharmacies. But the key behind this is anybody with an NPR number can purchase this product, which means you, the pharmacist. That also means that it's important to note that the product cannot be resold from that point on. But you getting a script can script it out. The basic understanding of ordering for us is very simple for all pharmacies. Uh, this is important, and it's quite marketing becomes a big question for us quite often. But really, it doesn't matter what marketing channels you use, whether you're on TV or whether you use um, the local newspaper, or whether you put a flyer up or whether you speak to doctor's offices and say, I have the product. All advertising uh, can be done uh, that your pharmacy now has the ability to fill a script for those needing a semaglutide injectable uh, and a vial. So that's not a problem at all. Uh, you will have at that point in time stock ready in your place, ready to go. A prescription comes in. That prescription will have a dosage re a regimen to it, which the doctor will give, and away you go. On average, right now, we're supporting um, you know over a hundred pharmacies on the program. Uh, when I say program, on the purchasing of this product, and uh, they are going to an average of ten, sometimes twenty vials a week now. Uh, so it is moving as people get to know about it, as the advertising begins to work uh, for yourself, uh, people come in because they know they can get it. And why do they come in and they get it? Because if they were trying to do anything which was weight loss related, many of them try to get Ozempic for weight loss. It got declined by the insurances. So what do they do? 
they can come to you and you can buy this vial for $150 and you can then script it out for between $350 and $400. That is per vial. And there's 10 vials in a box. I see Augustine still trying to get in onto the system yet, um, Medard. Let's go over here to what a dosage looks like. Um, so typically, this is a, just a look. I mean, you don't the, the numbers are not something you have to follow because the doctor will give you a prescription dosage regiment, and you will basically just put it on the vial. And this is one that is that's been used uh, before. I just wanted you to see kind of what happens and what you get. And it's a very simple filling of a script. Ordering options: uh, we have a couple of options. So with our pharmacy, with our um, 503Bs right now, the two that we most work with that we've been contracted with for quite a while is we have the top left on, which is a 10, 10 vials in a box. It's five milligrams by two ml. That's the most common where everybody starts with. And it's $150. And we, we ask for an MOQ of two, two boxes, but uh, certainly we're happy to work with you the first time around, however you want to do it. Um, the next one on the top right there, as you're seeing a 10 mg and a 20 mg, that's that's product that for the most part is used by doctors' offices or clinics where the administration has been done in house. So the patient actually comes there, so they don't need uh, you know smaller vials; they need the bigger vials to keep drawing and administering a product to patients. Let's call it every half hour type thing. So they order a little differently, but that is available. And I know that probably within the next three weeks we will have our tazepatide. Uh, vials ready, uh, available to the market as well. We'll let you know about that when that time comes. Uh, marketing, I know Murdad will cover quite a bit of marketing with you as well. He's the, he's the king of marketing for pharmacies, but I will just tell you that just looking at marketing, the things that are important when it comes to anything you say or do as a pharmacist, uh, this is not a Zempic. Do not suggest it's the same. That's a big problem. And most of the pharmacies that have gone into trouble before, just if you go and do research, some of them have gone into lawsuits with, with Nova Nordics. Primarily 90% of the time is the misusing of uh, Nova Nordics and Ozempic as a sales mechanism for a weight loss product. They are not the same thing. And this is for diabetes only. Um, this is not for diabetes. Our product is for weight loss only. And do not use the words for sale or for office use. Uh, do not guarantee results, so nobody can really. And do not say the semaglutide comes from the same factory as Nova Nordics. I'm actually just giving you things that people have said before to actually create a sale. And this is where trouble happens because it's not going to be with the product. The product is the highest grade product in the USA. Pro issues happen when we market incorrectly. A lot of marketing material available. By the way, we can also provide API uh, through Murdoch as well. If you need API raw product to make dissolvables or sublinguals or anything, and you can do compounding, we can provide that to you. And this is just some materials we've used in the past, which we happen to provide to you as well, or you know through Murdoch system, there's a lot of marketing available. So um, I'll end with that and open it up for just any Q&A quickly. If there's none, then I'll hand it over to Murdoch. Sure. Well, we actually have a couple of questions. Uh, uh, one gentleman asked, uh, do you see semaglutide coming off the short list anytime soon? Well, you know, I did some research. Uh, yeah. I did some research, Mike, yesterday. And uh, from what I read through FDA and uh, an attorney that was also talking about the shortages, they see this shortage probably going to be with us for a good part of even 2025. So if you didn't know, I just researched that out, just for your information. Uh, and I can, and I can add. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, I can add to that, and that's absolutely accurate because I was in discussions yesterday with a large law firm who also dug into this, and they say that we've got at least another three years uh, on process with this. If, if the worst-case situation were to happen and this product is pulled off, all the product in the USA at present, which is quite a lot of raw APR powder, will be allowed to be utilized. So uh, most people will tell you worst case situation is one year. Okay. That's what well, I'm I getting. Got, I got another question for you. It says terzepatide. When are we going to get that? So uh, it's been a question asked so many times. It, the, form, the formula has been done. The product has been made. 
Uh, it's in process. The bud is almost ready. A final inspection on its sterility and effectiveness, which will be no problem, should all be done this week. And then they're going to take about a two-week process to get it up and running. We do have small batches available, but it's not ready to be sold. Okay. Uh, and we do honestly have about 100 requests for it. So it you know, absolutely right, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So uh, next question, they want to know about the BUD, Beyond You State, and also the yeah. puncture date. They want to know what, right. what, is it, what what do they look like? So Beyond You State is, is call, it a, call it a shelf life. I mean, Beyond You State, so you understand the product is going to be shipped on ice. It doesn't have to. It passed the test not to be shipped on ice, but it will be shipped to you on ice. Once you get it refrigerated, the Beyond You State on that, it can stay in storage with you uh, for 180 days. Once you puncture the vial, we go to the normal standard of the industry, which is 28 days. Okay. Uh, somebody wanted to know terzepatite uh, API. What is the uh, minimum you would sell? Uh, we go five grams, I think, is the minimum I have on my list, but we can certainly, uh, certainly yeah, talk to you. Do you have an how much it is for like five gram? Uh, I don't want to jump to that just yet. Um, I was busy working on a new proposal on all of it today. Uh, but I know this, and I can say this accurately. I do not believe there's anybody in the USA that will beat our price. Okay. Because there's, there's very few people that fit the the mark of it. You know, we have a 20 year of odd uh, supplier. So we can shift a little on price depending on volume and size. But I know that we'll beat anybody's price. Well, one other question popped up, but I know how, how to answer that question. Am I able to send the product back? And the answer is no. Uh, once you purchase it and it comes in your possession and you have it in your pharmacy, just like any other pharmaceutical, you cannot uh, return it. It's yours. And, uh, you know, it's got a six months expiration date. And if you do the right marketing, if you make the right steps, I'm sure you'll be able to sell multiples of that box, not just one box of 10. Uh, we have a pharmacy in Arkansas. They do about 300 of these per month. So, uh, and I spoke to the pharmacist at a meeting and, you know, we're going to talk about the marketing, how you can market these type of stuff and the kind of stuff that we can provide you in order for you to build your business up. So, Mike, if that's all you have, let me just go ahead and, if, I'm going to yeah. go ahead and share my screen, you know. There we go. You got it. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to share my screen with you all and I'm going to talk about... <clears throat> A couple of things. You know, first of all, you know, we are the company's RX Connection. We are a technology-based company that can help you consulting business, if you want to call it that. They can help you drive business uh, using uh, technology and data. I mean, we have hundreds of thousands of lines of data. Our company name is Pharmacy Services Group, and our mission is to help you grow your business. We are an NCPA member corporate member. And I just want to show you, I was one of the speakers at the Total Pharmacy Summit back last year. We were talking about data and pharmacy, and you can see there's data all over. So if you can use the data, you can really drive business into your pharmacy. Now we have a solution called Tabula RX, which is a uh, place where you can go and get prescribing data. So a lot of you ask, well, how do I know who's prescribing Ozempic? How do I know who's prescribing Wagovi and so on and so forth? Well, we have a solution for you, which is called Prescriber RX, which is right here on the dashboard. And you can put in any doctor's NPI, and you can see who prescribes uh, uh, that product. Uh, what, what kind of products, that, I'm sorry, how, what kind of, you can type in the NPI, you can see what the doctor prescribes every day in his or her practice, okay? You can also type in the name of the drug and choose your state, and it would tell you uh, who are the doctors that prescribe that medication in that state. And if you are a member of RX Connection, uh, you can download these type of data and use them. The other solution we have is you can see, okay, well, I'm in Texas. You know, what drugs are being sold in Texas? And you can just get a complete line of all drugs. It could be 18 to 100,000 drugs that may be dispensed at your state. And you can view those and run those reports and use the data. Also, we provide you with dispensing, local dispensing data, so you know where uh, uh, patients are going, how much they're paying, and who are the doctors, which is, is all cash business. Also, the medication assistance, so 
I know we're talking about semi-glutide, but you can, we have a director of all patient assistant program, coupon vouchers, and so on and so forth. And uh, one thing that uh, you guys can use in promoting your semi-glutide is a provider database. So we have, as you can see, and we've got 8.1 million names in there. And you can that covers just about anybody and any anyone at our facility that is registered and uh, that you can download. Basically, you can just type in, I want to see all the podiatrists in 32792, for example, and you can see all the uh, uh, podiatrists in that area. You can get their name, address, and phone, and fax, and license number, and things like that. And then you can go back to Tabula and try to look up and see what they prescribe, or if you want to just download them and use the uh, data to create a mailing list, you can create a fax list, and we provide you with all of that. So if you want to create a mailing uh, campaign, uh, just let us know what you're looking for. We can create a campaign of, let's say, you know, all the internal medicine, a certain zip code. Uh, we'll create these postcards for you, and we'll ship them directly to those uh, people that you're trying to target. Also, for the patient side, so let's just say you are, you have semaglutide, you have the telemedicine that we provide you, and you have uh, reached the marketing, and you want to reach your patients out in a certain zip code. So you can tell us that, hey, I want to reach patients that are 25 to 55 years old. They're women, you know, earning $100,000 a year, and they own their own home, and they have a pet. And we can go ahead and create these cards for you. And we will mail this directly to those demographic base that you're trying to reach. Also, as a way of reminders, as a way of marketing your services to doctors and to customers, we have RX Reach. That's not the only thing RX Reach does. It does a lot more than that for anything about diabetes, hypertension, this and that. But in your case, if you have patients coming in and getting prescription filled, you can go ahead and set them up in RX Reach. Well, they get will get a uh, reminder, like every 28 days, 27 days, whatever you like, it's your, you set the parameter and they get a text message saying, would you like a refill on your medication? So if you know you gave a patient a semaglutide that they have a 28 day beyond uh, puncture date, okay, you want to set this up so every, say, 26 days or 25 days, they would get a text message saying, would you like a refill on your medication? Or you know, be sure you discard any unused uh, portion of your medication after 28 days from the uh, pickup date, you know, something like that. And uh, they can, these patients will get that. And you can automate that. So you don't have to do this every month or whatever. You can set it up and forget it. Every 25 days, this goes out. Also, Rx Reach is a marketing tool for your doctors. So, like I said, you have all the doctors that you can pull. You got the fax number. You can come in and use the fax broadcast of the Rx Reach and uh, send all these templates. And we do have all the marketing material. Like I told you, you need flyers, brochures, cards, social media, whatever you need as far as digital assets. We can create what well, we have those actually on our online store. Or you can request us to make something special for you. And we will put all of that. And, uh, you know, you can uh, easily fax these over to your doctors in your area and create some sort of awareness. But, again, one of the best ways you can market this, uh, as I've said before, is to be sure you go and find these doctors through Tabula Rx and then visit these doctors maybe once or twice a month and kind of remind them about what you do, what you have. Uh, the gentleman I mentioned in Arkansas is actually set up a clinic because in Arkansas they can get, uh, they can give uh, subcutaneous shots. So what do they do? He actually has the telemedicine that he gets from a local physician, and he just basically have the patient come once a week. They do the you know uh, patient review. They can look at their weigh them, take their uh, blood sugar, you know, ask them for any side effects, ask, ask any question, uh, put them on the scale, calculate their BMI, take a look at their progress, maybe give them some, uh, you know, some diet and exercise, you know, um, uh, suggestions. Now, if you really want to get fancy, I heard from a pharmacist that they actually brought in a dietitian, and the dietitian, if they really want to lose a lot of weight, not only the medication, they can also consult uh, dietitian about their diet. 
But one of the best ways that you can market these in your local areas by way of podcast. And I know a lot of pharmacists are shy about podcasts because they're like, I don't have time. It's too much time. I, I don't want to do this. Or if it's, I, I, I'm camera shy, I'm microphone shy. I don't know. I get nervous or whatever. Well, no matter what the excuse is, we have you covered. Because with Rx Podcast, as you know, it's the best way for you to market your pharmacy because you build a community in your area because we create, we do all the design, cover design. We do, uh, we put on every streaming platform. You can use um, AI voice, you can use voice cloning, or you can use voice actors. So in the case of voice cloning, uh, you don't need to talk. And I have several pharmacies that they've never spoken, not even a word on their podcast. So what they do, we get a one minute of your rec uh, of your voice on your iPhone, send it to us, and we'll clone your voice. And all you have to do once a week, just send me the contents about what you want to talk about, and we'll put your voice behind it. And I guarantee it's 110% you speaking on that microphone, okay? And I can show you many examples. You can uh, call the office, and uh, one of our staff can show you the examples of these uh, podcasts. So... Why podcast? Because as you start doing this, and not just that, I'm not talking about just talking about weight loss. Talk about diabetes, hypertension, COPD, all the stuff that happens. You talk about your pharmacy. Bring on guests. Bring a doctor on. If you have a local doctor, podiatrist, you know, nutritionist, like I have a pharmacist that does that, diabetic uh, educators, bring them on your podcast. And then we give you all the marketing tools, including video shorts that you see on like TikTok or Facebook and all that, these little 10-second videos that attracts patients to come click and go to your website or whatever. We also provide you that with our podcast. So no matter what the uh, situation, may, your situation may, may be, we have you covered. And the best of all, these podcasts are very, very ex inexpensive, and it starts at only $89 per month for a uh, four episodes per month, which includes these uh, um, video shorts that we can put on your behalf, on your social media, or you can do it yourself because we do offer a social media management as well. So as we create these podcasts, we also give you a YouTube channel. So you, all these podcasts will be on YouTube channel. You can go and share those, ask your patients to you know, share them with your friends, relatives, whatever. And as people come, you start building a community. And every time you get a new podcast, you know, people get notification that your new new podcast is up. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but we are the one that produced the NCPA's Independent Rx Forum. Uh, so we, NCPA's Rx Forum is powered by Rx Connection. Now, for you guys in Florida and Texas, we have a solution for your doctors. So I know that going to doctor's offices and get them to send you a prescription can be a little challenging. So for those pharmacies in Florida and Texas and 17 more coming up just shortly, uh, 17 more states, uh, we have a solution for you. So basically, you can advertise all you want about your services on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, whatever you like. And there are some pharmacies that are on the second or third round of medication that they have ordered in the last two weeks. Basically, you get create awareness. Patient comes and says, hey, I see this GLP-1 diet. What is this? Can I get it? Do I need a prescription? He said, no. Here. I mean, it's $459, $399, whatever you want to charge. And you would send the patient a text message. Uh, they open that up. They see the doctor. It's all secure, HIPAA compliant, create an account. And all of these records are kept by our medical director, our, our, our telemedicine, uh, through the EHR for future visits. And uh, the doctor, if everything is okay, will send the prescription over to uh, your pharmacy because this is your telemedicine, okay? So no matter what happens, the prescription comes to your pharmacy. So you benefit not only from, you know, getting that prescription. So you just go out and do all the marketing you want. Uh, best places to go are health clubs, personal trainers, med spas, or any other place that uh, deal with... Uh, you know, beauty and, uh, you know, weight loss and plastic surgery or whatever you want to call them. And uh, 
you know, uh, these people will recommend your pharmacy. And uh, I have a, one or two pharmacies that have had really good luck with uh, local health clubs. So uh, Expedia Care is what you need. So then you, like I said, you have everything. You got the doctor, you got the medicine, and you got the marketing. You got all the good ingredients to make a beautiful cake. So all you have to do is just want to make a cake. So with RX Connection, you know, with all of our solutions, I mean, we're really not out there trying to uh, get you and lock you into contracts and things like that. We don't have any long-term obligation or contracts. Our cost is only $49.99 monthly membership. It's not a contract. You just have a health club. You come in for $49.99. You can use all the amenities, all the equipments and everything else. If you want personal training, we have it. If you need RX Binder, that's the one education piece that you can create, educate your patients about anything and everything through a text message and engage your patient. We have it. Good delivery, podcasting. Our creator is the one that you can, uh, that will be marketing your social media on your behalf. It starts at just $49 per month. And also, if you're into do it yourself, we have social media marketing collateral on our website that you can easily go and purchase. And we will customize it with your brand uh, and you'll get it in one hour into your mailbox and you can go get them printed or put them on your social media yourself. That's all in our store, which is, um, it's called store or shop. So basically with our uh, your online store, if you're a member, you get 20% off. So whatever you purchase, you get 20% off. That really helps offset that $49.99 per month membership. So, and you're supporting something good for uh, everybody else. So here, is a, here are some examples of a poster. So these are posters, two foot by three foot posters that you can put on your windows. These are like flyers and we have, we can make, I mean, we have hundreds of different types of flyers, brochures, social media. We got thousands of social media assets that we can share with you. Uh, about anything and everything, and we just customize these, and we can put it on your behalf on your social media, or you can just purchase these and do it yourself. Uh, of course, we talked about the podcasting. These are some of our recent stars. This is a gentleman I was talking about with diabetes that's built a really uh, a bunch of followers when it comes to podcasts because he's diabetic. His podcasts are all about diabetes, and even I listen to it myself. So it's kind of summarized, and we have medication, we have telemedicine, and we give you the marketing, everything you need in order for you to grow your business. So I want to take a minute here to see if I have any questions over here. So um, let me check really quick. Okay, well, I don't see any questions, but if you have any questions, just put it in the uh, chat box on the right-hand side, and I'll be able to answer that. So... Uh, how do you order these uh, GLPs? You just go to buy, that's uh, B-U-Y dot glp one rxdirectcom Okay, so that's B-U-Y dot glp one rxcom and you just simply create an account. Uh, it takes about one minute. Just type in your NPI. All your information will populate in here. So we have all everybody's information. Once it does, just make sure you make the corrections if they're wrong or you, there's an alternate number or whatever. And then be sure you include your uh, pharmacy DEA license and the pharmacy permit copy. You can upload that into our system because our 503B facility would require that. And then next window, which is right, is, I know it's too small to see, you just add what you need to your, like a cart system. And then next, you just submit that to our facility, so it goes from here to this platform directly to the 503B. So whatever information you give them, it'll be all visible to the 503B, and all we can see is just your name and your email and your phone number. That's all we can see in here. When it goes to a 503B facility, they open that up, they verify your license, make sure you're a pharmacy, and, they get the, and they're able to ship that to you. And then they, they would, they're the one that charge your credit card and they'll ship that to you however you want. If you want them overnight, second day, third day, you choose the uh, shipping and your product will arrive uh, shortly. 
Uh, any other questions? I don't see any questions. Um, I, before the call, I had a, a pharmacist. I had a talk uh, with a pharmacist, and he said he was going to join us. I don't see him here, but I think maybe he got his answer as far as the dosing is concerned. So uh, as far as the dosing of semaglutide, if a doctor calls you up and says, hey, what, how do I dose the, the medication? Well, here's the dosing chart for semaglutide. You know, basically, you start off the patient for 0.25, okay? And then you can move that up in a week or two or three. Depends on the uh, reaction and the patient's, uh, um, you know, uh, reaction or tolerance to the medication because, you know, a lot of it has abdominal side effects, nausea, vomiting. Uh, and so if the patient's doing well, the physician can move that up to 0.5, and then up to one milligram per week, and then maintain that for up to nine weeks. So the, uh, the dosing, as you can see, this patient may be on this product for up to you know five or six months. And uh, as I've done some checking, the patient would lose anywhere from you know five pounds. On average, they say they lose about five pounds per week. So. But that's not uh, a typical uh, result. It can vary, depends on what the patient consumes, how much exercise they do, and everything else. But those are just uh, typical uh, reactions. We all know that the, the three product, Wegovi, Ozempi, and Rebelsis, uh, these are oral tablets. And I know some pharmacies make the trochies and drops and that sort of stuff, which is OK. Uh, talking to some of the pharmacists that do compound the trochies and drops, they say that usually the patient does not see a huge uh, a reduction in their weight. I'm not an expert, so I'm you know I am an expert in pharmacy, but as far as you know how much of it gets absorbed and you know what you know really how effective that is, uh, I don't think anybody knows. Uh, there needs to be done some clinical studies, but we know Ozempic, we know Wegovy. And as you can see, where Govi goes up to 2.5 milligrams per week. And as Mike Pitt mentioned, if a physician wants to prescribe like a vial, uh, like a 10 ml vial, they can do that because remember, the puncture date's 28 days. Make sure you throw that vial away after 28 days. And so that's repeat business for you monthly. They can come back every month to get the product. And um, so this is basically uh, all I have. Any other questions? So I just want to show you another slide, which is basically talks about our the semaglutide. So our facility is a 503B CGMP, FDA registered. And so with our connection, we give you the medication, marketing, and the doctor. All you need is to just go to buy, buy.glp1rx.com. Just register. We don't ask for anything. Let's go register, put your name in, and at any time when you're ready, just submit your request and you will get the product. So any other questions uh, that I can answer, please put that in the chat so I can just review that real quick. And um, Okay, so somebody says, uh, uh, I understand the vial is coming at 2.5 per 2 ml. Now, it's 5 milligram per 2 ml, not 2.5, okay? Uh, will I be able to titrate the dose from 0.25 up and to provide the syringes, and how do I order the product? So to answer your question, uh, whoever asked this question was that I know the vials come in 2.5. It comes in 5 milligrams per 2 ml. So you can just look at it as, you know, uh, that is what you have, you know, in your you have about 10 milligrams, you know, five milligram per two ml. I'm sorry, five milligram per two ml. You got five milligrams of semaglutide containing that vial. So whatever the dose for the patient will be, whether it be 0 0.25, 0 0.5, one or two, whatever that may be, um, you have to calculate that and give the directions to the patient. I think Mike showed a slide of a label that a pharmacy had placed on one of the products, okay? Uh, what's the cost? Uh, what's the cost per dose uh, from a pharmacist? Uh, I'm not sure what the question is from a pharmacist, uh, but um, uh, I mean the cost per dose. Uh, it's just you ask me. 
I'm not sure what you're asking me, but you know, uh, basically, what's the cost per dose? Well, I don't know. Just five milligram per two ml costs you 150 dollars for the vial. So whatever you typically, doing. typically, it's about 160 percent profit margin. So um, if I'm just talking, there's really no cost per dose because the dosage is a regimen that the doctor gives, right? So um, typically, you gonna if you if you're scripting it out, let's say 350, and you paid 150 for your vial. You made two hundred dollars profit per vial. Right. Yeah. So it's highly profitable. You got to remember, you're buying it for one hundred fifty, and I can show you if you just go semi-glutide on Google, you'll see we got pharmacies. I just found one pharmacy that is selling two point five for one ml vial, so half of what you're getting here, and they were charging two hundred seventeen dollars. So that means they're selling what we, what you're getting five milligram per two ml. Uh, they're selling it for roughly about $430 per month. On average, talking to a lot of pharmacies that I do, they range anywhere from $300 to $450. I mean, that is the range that uh, most pharmacies charge to provide these medication to their patient as a cash basis. So uh, that's basically what it is. So. Well, Mike, thank you for uh, mm -hmm. being with us today again. And uh, if you want to um, listen to this uh, webinar, we'll, we'll have it on the YouTube uh, by tomorrow. You can actually watch it if you missed it. Uh, but uh, if you have any questions, make sure you call RX Connection, and that's R X C O N N E X uh, E X I O N. That's our website. We have a link that says semi-glutide. You can go in there and learn about semi-glutide. We have a store that talks about all of the marketing assets that I was talking about, the visit store. And as far as the pricing for our membership and things like that, that's all in here. Like for the growth plan, it's $69.99 per month. That covers all of the above as far as the uh, uh, data, the cards, the telemedicine, telehealth, and the tele. Uh, uh, and the telecommunication, that RX reach that I was talking about. So until next week uh, or anytime soon, stay healthy. And uh, we hope you found this uh, informative and be sure you give us a call with any questions. Thank you, Mike, again, and uh, hope you have a good day. Thank you. All right. Thank See you, you next week. Bye-bye right. now. Bye -bye.